The book is called Eloquent JavaScript. Obviously, it's going to be about JavaScript. This is the second edition. It was written by Marin Haverbeck. I'm sure I butchered that. It is a fantastic online book, completely free. Eloquentjavascript.net is how you get to it. Fantastic book, broken down into three parts. First, it goes into the language of JavaScript. Then it digs into the browser. So it talks more about the DOM. It talks about HTTP. It talks about HTML elements, CSS, the canvas, and how to mix all of those components together with JavaScript to build rich web applications. Part three is a little bit smaller. It goes into Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime, so you can write applications with JavaScript and run them on your computer or on a server. In that section, he goes into how to build a web server and a web application with the client side interface and the server side interface. Really cool stuff. What I like most about this book is that if you go to it online, it's actually interactive. So all of the examples that you see, you can click on them and then you can start making edits to the code and the code runs right in the browser as JavaScript should. So if we run the code here, we see the output of the example. Then we can make changes. We'll just put a bunch of stuff here, run the code again, and you see that our changes run live. You go into uh, even more complex things like building a game. So if I run this bit of code here, you'll see that this is a JavaScript game running right in the book. And you can you you see all the code that it takes to build this. Isn't this awesome? This is really cool. I've got to dodge lava, collect coins, and I won, so we're gonna go to the next level. And I died, so I'm gonna melt. Very cool stuff. There's a lot of uh, really sort of dry humor mixed around the book, which I like. There's a lot of history of why the JavaScript language is the way it is. A lot of history about the internet. Great book, 21 chapters, really gives you an awesome idea of the building blocks used to build rich web applications. It doesn't go into things like, you know, jQuery or React or Angular, but all of those are built with core JavaScript. And so understanding that core JavaScript will help you develop those skills that you use in, in those more complex JavaScript libraries and frameworks. I totally recommend it if you're interested in web stuff. If you're not interested in web stuff, you should be. Get the book, read the book, it's fantastic. Thanks for watching.